Let's talk about booklet printing. So under the file menu, you can see there's an option for print booklet. And the whole purpose of print booklet in InDesign is to set up your document so that it can be printed out into a booklet and the pages will be sorted automatically in the right order to achieve that booklet printing result. Now this really comes into play when you're doing something called a saddle stitch for your for your product when you're printing out to a saddle stitch binding. Now what is that? Saddle stitch is basically this. Now it's called saddle stitch because each page is folded and then put one onto the other the way that a saddle goes onto a horse. And it's called stitching because they're then joined together with a staple in the center but it's sometimes sewn stitched together so that's why it's called saddle stitch Now you'll see that this page is actually an eight and a half by eleven or something similar but the full piece of paper that's folded here is actually twice that so the width is eight and a half times two so it's 17 inches across. It's still 11 inches high, but it's 17 inches across. And that's two eight and a half by 11 pages joined together. Mathematically speaking, you add them up, you get an 11 by 17 piece of stock paper. So you would print your layouts onto these eight and a half by 11 pages, fold them in the middle, and then staple them or stitch them in the center. And that's saddle stitching. The reason why booklet printing or print booklet is so important is that you'll soon realize that when you do this, page two and page three aren't on the same piece of paper just because of the nature of how these pages are joined together in that saddle stitch arrangement. So figuring this out on your own will be very difficult. And that's why we can use booklet print to figure it out. Now something else before we go into the booklet print options here and start setting up our saddle stitch is that we need to talk about how many pages are actually needed. If you're doing saddle stitch as your final result, as your output, you're going to create booklets that are saddle stitch. You have to have pages in your document that are a multiple of four. So you can have eight pages, 12 pages, 16 pages you can't really have 10 pages or 6 pages. You could, but you wouldn't want to. You'd have these odd blank pages. And it's worth showing you. Let's go into File and go to Print Booklet. And we are doing a saddle stitch. Let's go into the Print Settings and when we're in the print settings, we have the change, the setup. Now the setup is still eight and a half by 11 because each one of our individual pages here in our design are eight and a half by 11. But there's facing pages that are 11 by 17. And if we're gonna do saddle stitch, the piece of paper in the booklet has to be 11 by 17. So you can type it in manually, but we can choose under the paper size option, scroll down to the bottom, you'll find 11 by 17 but you can type it in manually. Next, make sure that you're not on scale to fit at this point. Make sure you're just on a regular standard of 100% scaling, no fitting. Next, we'll go to Marks and Bleeds, and we'll turn on all our printer's marks just for the experiment, and we're gonna say we're gonna use our document bleed settings, which are still left over from last time, which should be a quarter of an inch. Okay, let's say okay to that. And let's look at our preview. So you can see that page one is blank, and that is our cover. There's a blank page here. Here's page two. Page three isn't next to it it says blank page. Here's page three and another blank page. Here's page four and five together 
and that's it. Now you'll see that this is the rearranging of pages that we actually need to do saddle stitch. But there's a lot of strange blank pages because we have five pages right now. And our options really to have a proper booklet need to be a multiple of four. So let's cancel this very quickly. And let's go to our pages palette. If it's not still open, open it back up. And let's add some additional pages in. So click on the last page here, make sure you're on the last page, and insert pages until you get eight pages. This gives us an obvious front cover, an obvious back cover, and an extra set of pages that we need just to add up to a multiple of four, in this case eight. And just so we understand, let's put some content on these pages very quickly so that we'll know what each page is when we see it in our booklet print output. So I double clicked here and we're on the cover. And let's just put something on the cover here. Let's uh, draw this little red box here. And we'll quickly draw a text box. We'll type in front cover. We'll make it big enough that we can see it. And maybe we'll make it white just so it stands out against that red background. There we go. We've got a front cover. Let's copy this really quickly. We can use it for our back cover. I'm going to copy that. Go to our page palette. We'll go to the very end. Double click on that. And this is our back page, page eight. Okay, let's paste this here and we'll change this to back cover. Oh, need our text tool. Change this to back cover. There we go. Back cover, front cover. Now let's put something on page six and seven. And the easiest thing to do is just to put page six here. Oops, page six. We'll make that fairly big. And we can just copy that. Move it over here. Call that page seven. This way we'll know what pages we're actually looking at instead of just blank white pages. Okay, so we've got our booklet. It's now in a multiple of four, eight in this case. We've got a front cover, we've got a back cover. This will make sense when we export it. All right, file, print booklet. Let's make sure our settings are all stock here. If not, we'll do them again. Go to print setup. Go to the setup tab. Great, so we're on 11 by 17 as the paper, the larger piece of paper is still set. Marks and bleeds are turned on. We're going to use document bleed settings. Say OK to that. And let's look at our preview. All right, so as you can see, the front cover and the back cover are on the same page. And this is exactly what we want. Because if you think about the piece of paper that is the front cover, that piece of paper in a book or a booklet is also always the back cover as well. At least when you do saddle stitch. So this is correct. It's correct because we chose a multiple of four, in this case eight, and because it's booklet printing, it's sorting the pages into the right order for us. We don't have to do the work. Here's page two, and next to it is page seven. And that might seem crazy, but it's the right idea. When the pages get put one into the other, like a saddle on a horse, two and seven, they won't be together anymore. Let's go to the next one. All right, here's three on the same page as six. That'll work, because when these pages go together, three and two will be back together again. Four and five are in the very center, the middle piece of paper in the saddle stitch booklet, so these will be together. Perfect. So that's how, how booklet printing works. It includes all your pages and sorts them in the right order so that when they're printed out and stapled together in a saddle stitch, the right pages will be next to each other in those facing pages arrangements. So that's basic booklet printing. It's a little tedious. It sometimes takes some little adjustments, but once you know it's there and you get used to it, it's very powerful stuff. You've probably noticed that the preview option uh, here is showing a warning and it says that the current um, layouts, they don't fit onto the size of the piece of paper. Why is that? It's not really a panic situation for the purposes of learning because 
the only thing that is larger than the piece of paper in this layout is that bleed area. So if you're going to print this out yourself, not to worry, you don't really have the same resources available to you if you're just using a printer that you might have at home on your desk. But if you're going to a professional printing situation, talk to your printer, see how they'd like to have the document set up for their printing purposes if they're going to make saddle stitch work for you. They may have their own suggestions. But if you did want to include the bleed area, the trick is is that you have to actually expand the size of the page in print settings a little bit more. And you have to sort of figure this out. 11 by 17 is the final end result size of your booklet. When it's folded in half, it's at 8.5 by 11 booklet. That little bit of bleed area that you need so that you get that smooth off the page printing edge that's cut off at the print shop like we talked about in the previous video. If you want to include the bleed area with all its information and printer's marks, you have to make it a little bit bigger. So think about it. If we have a quarter of an inch bleed area all the way around, the total extra space needed is a half an inch. So that's two quarter of an inches for a half inch for each side. So you would make the width 11.5, 11 and a half, and you'd make the height 17.5. That would be a larger piece of paper and then when you make that adjustment and go back and look in preview that should make this warning disappear and the result is that the stock size of the paper you'll go to if it's available to you would be big enough to accommodate that bleed area and then the print shop would cut the white areas off. But again, let me remind you, talk to the print shop because it could be a lot more expensive to go to the next piece of paper size. After 11, point, after 11 by 17, you're up to like larger pieces of stock, tabloid size. That's very big paper, costs more money. So your options are to make the whole layout smaller. It could be an 8 by 10 page that would be 16 by 10 which could fit inside a piece of 11 by 17 stock. Don't worry if you're confused. Your job is to design great work and the printer, the print shop, their job is to consult you and help you out in getting your work into hard copies that look great and work out. So the only real rule is to talk to your print shop, find out what the settings uh, they might want to get good results and do that at the beginning before you start designing. The worst thing you could ever do is work on a multi-page document for days and days and at the end realize that the way you've laid it out is too expensive or doesn't work well for the print shop and then you've got some real problems on your hands. So call the print shop first, say you want to make a booklet, ask them what kind of size options, what kind of stock paper they have and maybe how you want, how you, they would want the document set up so that they can print it, crop the edges off and give you a beautiful result.